young women, the old women, the old women. Let anything go by the kid. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I would like to get down there, but I... Yeah. Alan! I, hey, Alan! Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah. You know the boys, Milt, Bob, Norm? Sure, sure. How you been, guys? Mm. Oh, good, good. Very good. Milt here just got back from Acapulco. Yeah. No kidding. He's got a nice tan, hasn't he? Yeah. How is it down there, Milton? What do I know? I laid in the sun all day. Uh, <laughs> you know, Alan, it's very nice of you to take us to lunch. What are you talking yeah. about? He's trying to butter us up, aren't you? <laughs> well, not exactly. Uh, can we talk Joan Rivers? Can we talk? He's doing Joan Rivers? Yo, Milt, do you Jackie Mason. Okay. In the first place, I want you to know I'm looking uh, at oil to rose-colored blinces, and I'm doing it the hard way with sour cream. Is that great or what? Is that great? Yeah, that's terrific. Hey, Listen, Alan, wait a minute. Uh, Alan, you gotta do Henry V. Oh, this yeah. is no place oh, to do it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it. Do it, do it oh, right. Right. What the hell? You asked for it. Now entertain conjecture of a time when creeping murmur in the pouring dark fills the wide vessel of the universe. Wait a minute. What are you guys, stand-up comics? Act like agents, you're agents. Milt, act like an agent. For sure. In the second place, I can eat the blitz. Oh, he's doing Mason again. Can I ever tell you about the time I'm on the rowboat with Lana Turner? Listen, guys. Uh, you don't have to tell me I managed her. So don't tell yeah, me. Yeah, you mentioned for about three or four minutes. Right? 1952 Listen, to 1957 is God as my witness. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Would you like something to read? Uh, what time is it now? It's uh, 12:57. He'll be back around four. <laughs> Business has changed. Uh -huh. Yeah, it used to be personal relationships. That's right. That's how business used to be done. <laughs> it was personal. Today, who cares? Yeah. Am I right? You're He's right. right. Yeah. Tell him the Humphrey Bogart story. Who? Humphrey, read my lips. Humphrey Bogart. You know you need a hearing aid? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> wait a Bob, Bobby, do Cary Grant talk in Yiddish. Judy, 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 the base of us begins she a hog at very do for guilt. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. I want to say something. What? I don't want this award. I don't want to be agent of the year. Why not? Uh, you know, because it's, it, it, I find it difficult in front of a lot of people, you know, oh, stand up. No. That's easy. No, it's not. I don't want to do it. Does this mean you're not getting the check? <laughs> no, I'll get the check. Of course I'll get the check. I just don't want the award. No, no, wait a minute. You know, you're only nominated. Don't forget that. You know, you got some nerve turning down an award you don't got, my friend. Well, don't vote for me. But, Al, this is a very prestigious award. I mean, we know because we already won it. It was the happiest day of my life. Mine, too. Culmination of a career, the period at the end of a sentence. Exclamation mark is more like it. Look, I, I just don't want it, so you better not give it to me, because if you do, I won't be there to accept it. Oh, Nita, this is insulting. It certainly is. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, but you're hurting our feelings. Yes. I'm sorry. I... You know, we heard very nice things about you, Yeah, Al. we heard that you do business the way it used to be done. It used mm -hmm. to be personal relationships. That's right. That's the way business was done. Am I right? He's right. Hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Look, I was only telling my daughter-in-law just the other day what a fine fellow you are. Now, <laughs> I'll tell her something different. Look. I gotta get the check up front. I'm really sorry about all of this. Oh, no, no, don't bother. We'll I get it. Can, I can, can get you believe what's happening? I don't know what happened. Man made a complete turnaround. It's not exactly. What happened? Man has a change of personality. Change of personality. Bobby, hey. Bobby yeah. isn't your son married to Suzanne Stadler? Yeah, yeah, the actress. Very big. <laughs> Could I be utterly and totally frank with you guys for one second? Yeah. Sure. I don't want the award because. You know Eileen Meisner? Of course. Mm -hmm. Well. What? She's dying. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to her. And forgive me if I can't say when. Of course. Or why. Certainly. But it's going to happen. Yeah. Eileen Meisner? Who would have thought? No, Naturally, no one must ever know this. Who? Our lips are sealed. Okay, so guys. Let's talk about this award of yours, the most prestigious award in the business, <laughs> because I have a dream. I think this is your night, Al. Oh, I know it is. Uh, congratulations again on Suzanne Stella. That makes me so happy. You got her? 
Well, actually, uh, Teddy and I got her. We're both going to be handling her career jointly. We're our partners on that one. What's going on while you've been gone? I'll say. Hi. Eileen. Eileen. Hello. Eileen, darling, how are you? I'm fine, Al, sweetheart. The question is, how are you? Never better. I hope you win tonight, Al. Eileen, that is so kind of you. I hope I do, too, but I don't think it looks too good. Oh, of course it does. There's even a rumor going around that the winner isn't even a nominee. What? That's what I heard. What the hell are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention. Thank you. Here is the moment you've all been waiting for. The Agent of the Year Award. Now, tonight's winner may come as a very, very big surprise to many of you. A shock, even. But as someone who represents some of the brightest stars in the showbiz firmament. Someone who's straightforward and will always level with you. Someone, someone who came to the election committee of this guild and campaigned, yes, campaigned not on their own behalf, but on behalf of another agent. Someone who worked unselfishly behind the scenes and in secret for another person. How is that for something special? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you someone with a heart as big as all outdoors. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Albert T. Floss. Yes! I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs>